Hi guys, Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. And the next plant that I'm going to put in my veggie patch is a flower. And again, you're probably asking, why are you putting a flower in the veggie patch? Is it for companion planting? Well, I mean, it does bring bees, but it's edible. We're planting Gumfrina, which is out of the amaranth family. Also known as globe amaranth. Around the world, this is used in replacement of flour. It would be ground up. But it's also used for teas. I mean, it's such a healthy, healthy plant. So people that are diabetic, it helps with the blood um, sugar levels, um, high blood pressure. Obviously, a lot of these plants are antifungal, antibacteria. This is no exception. But it's filled with minerals, vitamins, and... Um, antioxidants which is great so but let's face facts this is a beautiful flower that would look great in any arrangement but for me it's not the fresh arrangements I love it for the dry arrangements if you cut these and hang them it'll retain the purple color which is perfect for um, wreaths and, and dried arrangements. And actually, this flower is um, planted everywhere as a perennial in Hawaiian landscapes, which is really nice. Even though it originates from Central America, um, also known as Vatamali. And um, this is another flower that would be great for someone that has a brown thumb because it doesn't like a lot of fuss, doesn't like fertilizer, and um, well, it likes drier soils, basically. But let me show you how we're going to plant it. It's really easy. It's just got like one or two rules, you might say. So let's start planting. Globe amaranth has a taproot, so you really want to make the soil loose. Globe amaranth is okay being close. So for me, I like 10 inches apart. And remember, you don't need to add any fertilization to the ground. We finished planting um, the globe amaranth, and um, I have lots of leftovers. I always overbuy this. I don't know why I don't start it from seed. I just don't have the space I think it it is, but um, this will look amazing, and hopefully this year I'll actually show you how you make teas or, or use it as a food source, but... Um, it's a great addition to any garden, and I think I'm going to um, put this along the fence line, too, and it'll look beautiful and be edible. So think about um, edible landscapes around your yard and stuff, and please send your pictures to my um, email. I would love to start collecting these at Campbell's Freedom Farm at gmail.com and um, the same as the name pretty much but um, this is Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm and Huggy Bear is ready to go in for breakfast <laughs> so have a great day and 
I forgot. Hit the subscription button and thumbs up. They count those. Have a great day.